Folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 50 to 60 minutes discussing how programs uh, that may not be in your total focus can be a real driver of growth for your agency, not only with those programs, but overall. And so we've asked our partners from Emeritus to come on and, and speak to us about it. And I'm mispronouncing that all the time, I'm certain. Uh, but this way you can see a perspective on how you can utilize programs that are in demand to grow your agency with an organization that has the tools to help you be successful in this space. We are recording today's presentation, so a link to the recording will be sent to everyone who RSVP'd for today's presentation, and it will also be on our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel. You'll notice in the software package, there's a section for both questions and chat. We ask that you use the questions section. And we find that most of the time we cover most of the questions that come up through the course of the presentation. But we wanna make certain that you have the information you need um, to draw a firm conclusion on making this part of your overall marketing plan. And so we'll address those uh, throughout the presentation as uh, the timing permits. We'll also start up with a little bit of level set on Premier Marketing. Uh, for those of you who may not be as familiar with us as some others, we are a national marketing organization founded in 1968 that's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform. We have offices across the country. We act as an insurance wholesaler working with independent insurance agents such as yourself through contracts that are at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. We want to make certain too that you realize we do this through a full portfolio of products. So not only those that address the needs of the Medicare population directly through Medicare Advantage or Medicare Supplement or standalone prescription drug plans, PDP programs, we also offer a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, final expense life insurance, pre-need plans, long and short-term care programs, disability income plans, and ancillary benefits such as what we'll address today and those include dental vision hearing programs, critical illness cancer plans, hospital indemnity programs, accident plans, and even a telehealth program we rolled out a couple, two, three months ago. When you look at the Medicare Advantage portfolio, it has the national carriers in there for your use through our organization and many of the strong regionals that can make a difference for you in your market. And that same philosophy carries over into the standalone prescription drug programs where basically all these programs, but maybe one, are all part of an AMA contract as well, and they're the national leaders in the space. When you look at the hey, Medicare John, Supplement Arena, yes, sir? Uh, I don't think you're sharing your screen. Oh, man, thank you. You're welcome, yep. There we go, hopefully. Is that uh, a good perfect. thing? All right. You thank got you. it. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, so when we look in the Medicare supplement space, we have a number of different port, uh, carriers that are there for your use and programs set up to make certain that you're successful in this space. We want to make certain that we have programs across the spectrum of the Medicare beneficiaries and all ages and incomes. And that includes covering additional needs through the ancillary products where in each of these categories, you have the national leaders and an opportunity to move into covering additional needs for your prospects and clients. Because when you look at the Medicare market, you see a burgeoning growth there where the aging of the baby boomers, the silver tsunami, one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day. If you're looking at it just from an age perspective, you're missing out on some different things because some folks are not accessing their Medicare benefits when immediately available but then you have 15% of the population that's under the age of 65 accessing through medical disability. That really brings this up to a huge number. And it's a huge diverse number with a number of chronic conditions, some challenges to their income and assets. So our portfolio of products and how we're able to deliver upon coverage for those needs is paramount to our success. Because folks have choices. They don't have to do a thing. They can even decline part B of the Medicare if they want to. Some will self-insure for the rest of the medical cost and pick up a Part D program for the medications. Some will cover that Medicare 
payment shortfall through a standardized, modernized Medicare supplement, or some will bundle, like they say on American Pickers, into the Medicare Part C programs, the Medicare Advantage plans. We want to cover them in all eventuality because it's a pretty even split on the base, and we have people that need additional help for specifics uh, with dental and some of the other programs, and we want to make certain that we're covering them regardless of the base coverage, and we're communicating with them through a translation of the acronyms that we see in all these coverages. A, a link to this guide will come to you as part of the follow-up to the presentation. It's important for us to pursue it, the market throughout the year, because, well, Kaiser Family Foundation tells us that the majority of Medicare beneficiaries don't review or compare their coverages annually, and that's costing them a lot of money. And a lot of it is in the most vulnerable of the portions of the population, and these people are having some challenges understanding the entire program. That's where that acronym guide and the, the use of your knowledge can make a huge difference in helping these people that aren't even accessing the government sources that can really help them understand what is and isn't covered. All sorts of technology available, all sorts of lovely videos, and folks aren't necessarily using what they need to, and they're not necessarily understanding they don't have dental coverage when they go on Medicare as well. You got two thirds of the population that don't. They don't realize that the, the coverages that are there for dental are limited, and once again, are in need of that coverage because they don't have it. And it's a great way for you to market and help people understand that intent and what you actually go through. Well, sometimes that's predicated by having the money to do so. Planning to go to the dentist and actually doing so can be two different circumstances. And one of the main reasons for a person not accessing dental care is that cost. And we want to make certain that they understand the benefits of doing so. Taylor's probably going to run through some of these. So we'll just look at the screen and make certain that we realize that a lot of what we do in taking care of our teeth and the dental coverage that's necessary helps with other health issues as well. And it then gives us a population that is more in tune with uh, their self perception. When my father, uh, was on like a sixth set of dentures, you would find him because of a sore mouth hiding himself because he wasn't wearing his dentures. It it, it affects that self-image and the whole part of uh, how you perceive yourself in many circumstances. So we want to be able to deliver upon this information in the manner in which our prospects and clients are asking for it, either in person or on a virtual basis. And we'll find that our friends today offer us such a platform. And it's a great way for us then to leverage the things that we've gone through in the last year and a half, where the population we're speaking to is increasingly comfortable with receiving information on by an electronic means, because hey, that's how they access care through their doctor, through their specialists. In many cases, uh, telehealth visits, you see hospitals and dentists doing it. And for over a year, we even had the faith-based organizations uh, doing things electronically as well. So it makes a difference because folks then are more comfortable with receiving the information um, in a concise manner, in a way that we can help them understand what they do and do not have. One of the additional benefits of making certain that they have multiple policies in the household, including dental coverages, well, the more product that is in the house, the higher the retention. Your persistency goes up and let's face it, that's the salary uh, for folks in the insurance world. So what we've done today is asked our friend from Emeritus, we have more than one friend, but Taylor's special. He's a regional directing uh, manager, or pardon me, regional direct managing director. Took me a while to say that. Uh, that's gonna come on and give us some information about Emeritus and how it can help us. Taylor, I am going to turn over control of the panel to you. There you go. And you have the helm, sir. Perfect. Thank you so much, John. And, and thanks everyone for joining. Um, hopefully everyone had a great 4th of July and uh, are, uh, are, are, are back to work and having a good time. But uh, appreciate everyone jumping on again. About 30 minutes. Uh, we're we're going to hone in. I know a lot of this um, maybe you're not aware of um, or you know maybe you have seen some emails fly through. But 
most of what we're going to be going over today is our, our new product that we're going to be launching July 28th. So maybe you might be contracted with us today. Uh, maybe you're new to the insurance space itself, or maybe you're just um, looking to see, you know, what, what dental and vision products you should add to your product portfolio. A lot of things that we're also going to be talking about is, is, is how Emeritus in general staying, uh, stands out from the pack, you know, through our no waiting periods, our next day effective dates, our uh, a large network um, goes on and on. Our ease of enrollment tool that is very, very seamless. We'll go through all of that as time goes through. And then also, like John mentioned, if you do have questions, type it in that question box and we'll get to those at the end of this uh, uh, presentation. Before kind of diving into Emeritus and our products and our network, I like to hone in on why dental and vision. Just in general, why should dental and vision be part of your product portfolio? A lot of the, the reasons stem from, you know, it's an ancillary product. How do I fit it into my, my product portfolio and my conversations today? I'm here to say that a lot of the agents that I talk to who write, you know, five, 10, 15 apps per week, a lot of the times have uh, different conversations on, on how to bring dental and vision up. Personally, most of the time is what I hear is just bring it up. Do you need dental and vision? Especially here at Emeritus, we've tried to mirror that group side as much as possible because primarily a lot of the clients that you're talking to are probably coming off of a group plan or they've had a group plan in the past. So going from group to individual, there's a lot of different products out there can get confusing. We don't want that. So a lot of the things that, that stem from, you know, our product, how good our product is, is really what we look at in the marketplace, what a senior used to have or what a senior would like to have. Because, again, a great stat that I like to bring up is 7 out of 10 um, seniors expect to purchase dental and vision insurance upon retirement. So 7 out of 10 people you're talking to, they want dental and vision. I think a lot of the times it's just they don't know where to get it. Or, you know, their Medicare Advantage plan might have a little bit of dental onto it, but just not as much as they need. Great thing here at Emeritus, we don't coordinate benefits. So there's a lot of things that that sales track or that talking track that you can talk about with, with dental and vision, um, hopefully these kind of help you a little bit, but referrals. So dental and vision is a little bit different than some insurance policies out there, right? Um, some of them like car insurance or home insurance, you're crossing your fingers hoping, hey, I, I hope I don't need this, but I need, I have to purchase it. Dental and vision, kind of opposite, right? Someone's purchasing dental and vision to use it. And with our product, they can use it as soon as tomorrow. So that referral base is going to grow, as I'll show you through some hypothetical illustrations on how much money that client can save with the Emeritus Dental and Vision products. Persistency. Um, I know John probably alluded to it earlier, and he'll, he'll talk about it later as well. But the more products you have, the better persistency you're going to have as well. So whether you are talking about Medicare or life insurance, always bring up other products as well. Dental and Vision. It doesn't matter if they're our products here, here at Emeritus are 18 and older. So maybe they're aging into Medicare, or maybe you are a little bit in that under 65 space, as John mentioned um, in his slide previously. Our products are there for everyone. You'll definitely see it with our new product portfolio. Uh, I think we, we really covered every, every possible client out there, as you'll see in our, in our new products. So again, talk about it. Bring it up. The more products your client has, the better persistency you're going to have with that client. They're going to they're gonna call you if they have multiple products, if they have one product and an agent reaches out to them, you know, I don't know. They could, they could just be like, okay, well, well, yeah, let's cancel that one plan and then let's move and, and get additional plans with this other agent. If they have multiple ones with you, they're going to call you. You are their agent. Adding value to your client's lives. Here at Emeritus, it's kind of what we, uh, of course, every carrier should strive to add value to your, to your client's lives. We want to, we, we we strive to add economic value, meaning we want to save that client as much money as possible. And that's just not through our product itself. You'll see here in just a little bit, you know, those things that we have in there that does add a lot of value to the client's life. At the same time, though, network. Network adds a ton of value to the client's life. Our negotiated rates, 25 to 50% on our negotiated rates. So without even talking about the product itself, you're already saving that client a ton of money by just going into the Emeritus Network. Reputation. Again, that's the goal, right? Have the best product out there and add to the agent's reputation. And that'll do that. Again, with regards to no waiting periods, they can go in tomorrow and go get crowns, dentures, implants. That's going to be covered. And then they're going to save additional money with network. They will be talking about it. I think I mentioned this uh, maybe a couple webinars ago um, here on Premiere, but I was talking uh, to an agent who 
pre-COVID was at, was at Costco, um, eating at Costco and a table next to him was a, was a bunch of seniors really just bragging about what insurance they have, how much money they have saved with this insurance company or that insurance company. You want to be in that conversation, right? I know Emeritus, we want to be in that conversation of, of uh, seniors or, or even under 65 people in a circle talking about, wow, I've saved this much money and, and this much money on this product. And Mr. and Mrs. Agent helped me out so much. That referral base is going to grow off of an ancillary product like dental vision. And we want to grow your business and we want to grow your commission. So switching gears from why dental and vision in general to, to why Emeritus dental and vision. Here at Emeritus, I'd say 80% of what we do here is dental and vision. That is our sole focus. Um, it's kind of unheard of in the marketplace today to have a carrier that focuses on dental and vision, right? It could be a carrier that has Medicare, Medicare Advantage, and they want to they have a dental plan. So all their focus isn't going towards dental and vision. It's going towards, oh, we should have a, another plan on top of what we already have. Our focus, what we do when we wake up in the morning is we focus on dental and vision. So our expertise behind these products, it's a lot of study. It's, it's a lot of, you know, what, what do we see? Um, because we do have a large book of business. We have a lot of clients. So we see, okay, what are people using? What are they using the most of? I mean, again, that's why we have no waiting period. We see that people want to use major day one. So we, we don't have waiting periods. You know, we see a lot of things that, that maybe other carriers don't dig into as much to add value to that product. We focus on really multiple, multiple things on, on when we release new products, as you'll see here in the next slide. But we, we focus on, again, creating that economic value. And we want to do things like LASIK, teeth whitening, hearing benefits. Uh, we want to have increasing maximums. We want to do things that, that's different in the marketplace today. And there's really three things that we do focus on. We focus on that product simplicity, going back to ancillary product. We don't want to, you to have to sit there. Maybe you've already talked about Medicare, Medicare, life insurance. And you don't want to sit there for another 45 minutes talking about dental when it's very easy to understand when it comes to dental. So we didn't want, you know, 15 different products, you know, that you can do this or that or whatever it is. We want to roll our best products currently. We're, we're, currently we have one. We're going to be launching three. Um, July 28th, but we want to roll out the best products possible, but keep them simple uh, and still have that member flexibility as well. Our second thing is ease of enrollment. Our enrollment process needs to be seamless, right? We don't want paper applications for sure. And it's really not even e app because you don't have a, a back office that you have to log into to, you know, help the client do an e application. All you have to do is get contracted with us and you'll receive a hyperlink. And that hyperlink is how you quote and enroll uh, clients, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Third thing is network. I talk about it all the time um, when I do present, just because I think sometimes we get so honed in on product itself, no co-insurance, no waiting period, late hearing, all this stuff that we kind of forget, wow, a big value is network. I'll show you a hypothetical illustration here just a little bit of how that plays a big part um, and, and conversations with your client. So we do have nationwide coverage. We are in all 50 states. So maybe you do uh, sell in multiple states. The good thing here is you don't have to pivot to different products. You can hone in on Emeritus. You can know the products that we have. We do have some state specifics. You'll see in gray, there are some state specifics, especially you can see Washington and New York, two of the ones that usually stick out the most. Um, and then we do have some in Montana, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Georgia. Uh, you'll see the ones in light blue. That, those are going to be moving to our new plans. So all this is looking at on the state map is our new plans. So with our new plans, those ones in light blue just have small, small, small state specifics. That's all that means. They're pretty identical to what I'm going to be going over today. Illinois and Connecticut are a little bit different. So if you do sell in those two states, I know myself, or uh, I'll send it to I'll send it to John, and, and he can send it off to you. Very, I mean. Not huge state specifics in Illinois and Connecticut, but a little bit different that it's worth probably sending over some material. All the ones in blue are the products I'm going to be going over today. So, for again, for a, a carrier that has products in all 50 states, we try to hone in on that simplicity to not have too many state specifics. But as everyone on this call knows, it's hard to have all of them the same. But uh, at the same time, it's, it's very, very small state specifics. So who are your clients? I talked about it before. Our product's 18 and older. Maybe you do sell in that under 65 space and also in that over 65 space, or you do both. Again, with our products, we want to be able to help that client if they're 18 and older, 
right? So 65 and over, maybe you're both, like I said before. So a time star total, again, I'm going to continue to say it because when I do talk about it, some people get confused. Okay, like this is only 65 or over 65. No, all of our products, all three of these products are 18 and older. But you'll kind of see how we tweak each one, each of these products to kind of hone in on a, on a, on a different age demographic. So with Prime Star Total, uh, you'll see 2,000 maximum in the first year, and it increases in year two. So 2,000 day one, 2,500 in year two. Preventative Plus. Preventative Plus means preventative services do not go towards the max benefit. So those two cleanings per year, right? We, we pay them at 100% but they don't go towards the maximum benefit, right? So the max at 2000 is just for basic and major. It's a great value add that we're adding onto these three products. Deductible, $0 for preventative, $50 for basic and major. Preventative services are covered at 100% day one. Basic is 80% day one, and major is 20% day one. So day one meeting, you're talking to your client tomorrow. They, they, go in, they need to go in tomorrow to get implants, or they need to go in tomorrow to get crowns. We're going to cover that 20% day one. Year two, so on anniversary, it bumps up to 190.50. We also have a hearing benefit on this plan, $70 for a hearing exam. Again, they just submit the claim to us and we'll pay the $75. Hearing aid benefit per ear, $200 day one, $300 in years two, $400 in year three. So again, we have preventive plus. Again, preventative services do not go towards the max benefit. We have increasing annual max. It goes from 2000 to 2500 We have a hearing benefit. $25 for the hearing exam, 200 300 400 increases every year. So some cool features on this, and also we increased, if you, if you do sell our plans today, you'll know that our day one basic co-insurance is 65%. So we increased this plan even on the basic co-insurance as well. So really, really some cool features with PrimeStar Total. PrimeStar Access. PrimeStar Access, so you've seen PrimeStar Total. Um, you can kind of tell it's probably maybe more geared towards that over 65 space. But again, if someone's 40 years old and then wants that hearing benefit or wants a little bit more on that maximum benefit, for sure, they can, they can purchase it. Um, but you can kind of just see where we where kind of made those tweaks to maybe thanks for it to for an over 65 client. PrimeStar Access. Same thing, increasing maximum benefit. So $1,000 day one, $2,000 after year one. So an anniversary jumps up to 2,000. This product also has preventive plus. Again, preventative services do not go towards the max benefit. Of course, we continue to, to, to pay those. They just don't go towards the max benefit. Deductible, same as total, $0 for preventative, $50 for um, basic and major. The max, for a family is 150. So if it's a family of five, they just have three deductibles. Preventive, and that's the same thing for total as well. Preventive with this plan is 100% day one. If they do go out of network, it does drop. Um, so basic is covered at 65%, major at 20%, and then in year two, it goes 180, 50. And then you'll see if they do go out of network, it does drop. But as you'll see, it's very, very difficult not to find someone in our network here just a little bit. Child ortho on this plan as well, 15% day one, 50% in year two, and it's a $1,000 lifetime max. We have LASIK on this plan. It's very, very unheard of. I don't think any product out there has LASIK. Um, it's something else to talk about when you are talking about dental is saying, hey, do you need LASIK? Got a plan for you? Got, got some extra dollars that can go towards your LASIK and at the same time, cover all your dental needs. So $125 uh, years one and two per eye on LASIK, $250 in years three plus. So again, with this plan, increasing maximums, preventative plus, and also teeth whitening is in major, as you'll see on the major category, you know, crown dentures, all that kind of stuff um, are covered under major, and we also added teeth whitening. So that's a cool feature as well. Child ortho, of course, and then LASIK. So you've kind of seen these two plans, Prime Star Total might be more for the um, 65 and older. Prime Star Access might be for under 65 or under 55 maybe LASIK, right? Teeth whining, all that kind of stuff um, that might be for the younger demographic if they're thinking about getting those things done. But again, both of those plans, 18 and older. Um, Prime Star Value. Prime Star Value is our uh, price, uh, price sensitive plan. Um, Budget-wise, if a client's not in that $35 to $45 range when it comes to a dental plan, 
we wanted a, a plan that is uh, is something that someone's still going to purchase, right? If they if, right now if, with our current product portfolio, if someone wants a value plan, they just you know they have to go somewhere else, and we don't want that to happen for for us and also for uh, you. The agents have to pivot to different products. Again, you'll kind of see that we've covered all avenues with these three plans. Prime Star Value is going to be the cheaper of the three plans. It's anywhere in that eighteen to twenty-two dollar range, depending on where you where you live. Um, but the maximum benefit for this plan is seven fifty. Okay, so preventative plus is on this. So as you'll see, it's only for basic in year one because again, preventative services do not go towards the max benefit. Deductible same as the other two: zero dollars for for uh, preventative, fifty dollars for basic and major. In years one. It's 90, 50, zero. In year two, it's 180, 15. Yes, a value plan, which you don't see today, does have major coverage. We, again, adding economic value, all that kind of stuff. We still wanted to have all of our um, coverage, but at the same time, we want it to be lower in price. So we do have to have that in years two for major category. But again, with that preventative plus, that 750 goes a long way with both basic and major. So great, great value plan. So you've seen those three product portfolios, PrimeStar Total, um, PrimeStar Access, and PrimeStar Value. These plans are going to be launched in July 28th. Um, you can enroll. One of the questions I always get is, hey, if I roll in someone today and I have an 8-1 effective date, are they going to be on these plans? No, they are not. You have to wait until July 28th to enroll a client on these plans because that's when they'll pop up on your uh, personalized hyperlink, um, how you quote and enroll. So if you do write someone today and have a later effective date, they're going to have our current Prime Star Protect plan. So I want to throw that out there as well. I know there'll probably be questions, but uh, that's one I get quite a bit. Moving on from uh, the product itself is network. Again, I always say tied for first place is network and product. Uh, network's just as important, saves a ton of money. And here at Emeritus, we have the largest one out there. So when it comes to network, network persistency. Um, question that maybe you, it doesn't come up a lot, but you know, if a provider's in our network, how often do they stay in our network? Right now we're hovering about 99.8%. So if someone's in our network, very, very, very good chance they're not gonna leave our network. So just know that when you are talking to a client that might come up and saying, oh yeah, my, great, my, uh, uh, the dentist I've been going to for the past 10 years is in network. They might ask, well, what if they leave the network? It's, it's good chance it's not going to happen. So great network persistency here in Emeritus. Contracted fees were negotiated rates were anywhere from 25 to 50%. Right now we're averaging about 30% when it comes to dental services. No balance billing. So if you go in network, you don't get balance billed. You could get balance billed if you go out of network. What that means is if they do go out of network, let's just say they need a crown. They go in tomorrow to get a crown. They go out of network. That, that out-of-network dentist might charge $1,300, but we look in our, that zip code and we look at our, what our negotiated rate is, we, we, we would take our coinsurance off of that. So let's just say that is $1,000 and we get 20%. So that 20% on a major, because Crown's a major, we would take that 20% from 1,000 rather than 1,300. And they could be balanced bill for that, um, that other part of it. No claims forms. All of our in-network providers submit the electronic claims forms directly to us. Really overall great customer experience, right? You get the contracted fees or the negotiated rates. You get no balance billing. You don't have to fill out a claims form. Um, I will say some out-of-network dentists, you don't have to submit a claims form either. They, they'll do that for you, but uh, a handful of them, if they do go out-of-network, just because we, we can't tell them that they, they need to submit them to us, what we, that's what we can do with in-network. So out of network is kind of 50 50 when it comes to submitting claims forms, whether that comes from the client or the office itself. Um, but again, with the network, you never have to worry about that. So it's just a pretty much a, a great customer experience uh, by going in network. How large is our dental network? Uh, just in the past year, we've grown about 70,000 access points. Um, we are committed to growth, but we're committed to strategic growth, meaning we want to partner with those providers who give the best negotiated rates. Um, if a provider, if we're talking to a provider and they say, well, we'll give a, a 5% negotiated rate on a crown, well, that's not really adding a lot of economic value to that client. We want to keep our average up. We want to, we want to continue to have that great value when it comes to negotiated rates. So we probably wouldn't partner with that provider. So yes, we are committed to growth, but we are committed to strategic growth. We want to grow with the right providers. 
so as you can see, we, we, we have grown with those rep providers as our, as our uh, negotiated rate average continues to grow. We're currently having about 600,000 access points nationwide and about more, more I'd say we're more around the 135,000 unique providers nationwide. Uh, I think it's important to, to mention that access point is the actual brick and mortar location where a client can seek dental services. And then 130,000 are the dentists. Just to give you an idea of how large we are, there's about 180, 185,000 dentists nationwide. So we have a majority of them out there. So that's why I go back to the conversation of it's hard not to find someone that's in our network. And, and you can search, I'll show you here just a little bit, 5, 10, 15 mile radius, and you'll see a ton of them pop up. So creating economic value, I've heard this about the 15th time I've said it um, on, on what we strive to do um, here at Emeritus with our products. Um, but this right here is a great piece. You can use it. We have a, I'll show you a website here just a little bit that you can go in and download flyers that look just like this. So you can have in front of the client and show them really how network and product work and how day one and no waiting periods, all that kind of stuff works. It's always good to see it on paper. Um, but with this, Creating an, economic, creating an economic piece, it really shows how much money they can save, um, whether that's day one or in year two. And we're gonna focus on the purple just because that's major. Um, it's kind of unheard of to have major day one, meaning no waiting periods. So I kind of hone in on that. But again, we have basic no waiting periods and we have preventative no waiting periods that you'll see in blue and gray as well. And again, preventative services do not go towards the max benefit. So those cleanings do not go towards the max benefit. So if someone were to have no insurance and they go in to get a crown tomorrow, say they've been needing it and finally just need to go in and get a crown, normally they're going to pay around $1,300, $1,400 for a crown. If they just go in, the, if they have a product and they go into the Emeritus Network, again, we're averaging about 30% when it comes to negotiated rates, you're going to save that client close to $600 by just going in network. So as I mentioned before, first place with regards to the the network and the product itself pretty tight right so when you are talking about the product remember to mention the network mention how large it is great negotiated rates all that kind of stuff plays a big part in making a dental product in general be very very good so again switching gears from network rate to day one cost day one cost 20 percent on major right it's 100 so with our new plan, it's 180-20 year one or 165-20, whichever product you want. And then, it, so it, day one, if they go in tomorrow, 803 times 20%, you're going to save that client an additional 150 bucks. So right there, you're saving that client, let's well, just for easy math purposes, you're saving that client $750. More than half, you're saving that client. That's a conversation starter. Back to that, that first uh, slide that I was talking about referrals, $600, $700, they're going to be talking about that, especially if they've already known the price of a crown. They might have gone in, into a dentist and that dentist said, hey, you, you know, we need to get a crown ASAP. And they might, they might say, okay, how much is it? You know, $1,400. You know, some people might just say, mm, not right now. But if you talk to them and, and they bring up, well, yeah, no, I need to get crowned. I need to get a crown. Hey, I got a great plan for you. You're going to save X amount of dollars, hypothetically, by going with the Emeritus plan and going in network. Year two, right? So 803 times 50%, because right, 50% on, on major jumps up. You're saving that client even additional dollars. So any way you look at it, whether that's tomorrow or 12 months down the road, they're going to be talking about this product, how much money they've saved, how much money you have saved them, by going with the Emeritus Dental Plan. Again, this, this right here, this illustration is on that website. I'll show it to you in just a little bit. Take it, carry it with you, laminate it. Show, show them really how a dental product should work when it comes down to individual dental, right? Sometimes you always get that conversation of, you can go to any network out there or anyone out there. We don't have a network. That, I mean, if you look at it at a scope of things, maybe that's good that they can just go anywhere. And again, our product, you can go anywhere. But a lot of those carriers are honing in on, you can just go anywhere, but that doesn't really make a big difference when it comes to the value added for a product, right? You're saving that client additional money by having the Emeritus Network. And you've seen how, how large our network is. Medicare, um, I usually talk about this leading up to AEP. Um, 
so I won't spend a lot of time on, on this slide. But again, full discovery appointment form out, Medicare and you guidebook, page 51, what's not covered, talk about it all the time. And I even mentioned it before this, we don't coordinate benefits. So if there's a Medicare Advantage plan that, uh, that has a little bit of dental on it, great. We'll always pay as the primary. Uh, we won't, uh, we don't coordinate benefits. So it's, it's a great benefit for that client to possibly have, have that additional um, dental. When it comes to vision, uh, back to that product simplicity, but we want member flexibility, as you've seen with our plans already, you can go in or out of network, right? Same thing with vision. We, at that point of enrollment, you can choose IMED or VSP. Before kind of diving into the product itself, I always hone it down to three things when, when you're talking about vision. One is their budget. You'll see here in just a little bit, one of our plans is $16 and one of our plans is just over $10. So what's their budget? Benefit frequency. Do they need to go once per year for, for or, uh, eyeglass lenses and frames? Exam is always once per year. And number three is um, where are they used to go in? Are they used to going to IMED or VSP? Or are they, are they tired of using VSP and they want to try IMED? So it really boils down to those three things. When you are talking about vision, ask them those. You know, what's your budget? Who are you used to going to? How often do you need eyeglass lenses and frames? Those three things are, are what needs to uh, be talked about when you're discussing vision. Why vision? Um, again, especially in that senior market, you have, you have increased risk of falls, fractures, Bathing, dressing, there's a lot that plays a big part in vision. Um, so bring it up, talk about it. A lot of the times when I do have conversations with agents who that attachment ratio might not be as high, you know, I kind of ask them, you know, why is your vision? And most of the time it's saying, you know, we've, we just dug into dental and we forgot to talk about vision or, um, you know, I just forgot to mention it. You know, it could be a ton of those things. And the, and the agents who do have good attachment ratios, they say, so I just bring it up. I just talk about both dental and vision. If they want to talk about vision first, I talk about vision. Both because product simplicity, you don't have to spend a ton of time on. But just remember, just bring it up, dental and vision. Again, 70% of clients intend on purchasing dental and vision. It's a large number. So IMED, we'll go over IMED first. This is like Lens Crafters, Pearl Vision, Target Optical. Uh, this is the cheaper of the two plans. Uh, $25 for an eye exam frame and contact allowance is 130 with regards to premium, uh, just over $10, $10.50 uh, for a policy holder for select vision, which is our um, IMED plan. Benefit frequencies, once per year for an exam, and once every two years for eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames. So remember, back to my, my three, three things that uh, a client needs to, you need to talk to a client about, right? Budget, benefit frequencies, where they used to go in. <clears throat> Next one, VSP, Target, or uh, Costco, Walmart, Sam's Club, $10 an exam. Again, this is gonna be the more expensive plan of the two. So you'll see the frame and contact allowance go up a little bit. <clears throat> Just over $16 uh, for the premium for this plan. Benefit frequencies, once per year for everything. <clears throat> so I'll say it one more time. <laughs> What's their budget, where are they used to going, and benefit frequencies. That's why we have these two different plans, right? So if you only had one vision plan to choose from, but they only, you know, once every two years for eyeglass lenses and frames, well, the person who needs one year, you know, they're kind of saying, well, now I need to go to a different vision plan than the one you're offering me. A lot easier to talk about dental and then have that member flexibility when it comes to vision saying, oh, no, I, I need to go at once. I need eyeglasses every year. So you're probably going to go with VSP, right, right off, right off the bat. So it's good to have that member flexibility when you are talking to that client and know that you don't have to pivot to a whole different carrier just for uh, vision needs. Making it easier to work together. Uh, I've made it a, a goal of mine to talk more about the member tools that we have here at Emeritus. We have a lot of them. We take a lot of time to um, have that member value even during um, that enrollment process that you've seen with that ease of enrollment, but also after the enrollment process, right? It's just not product that they're getting. They're, they're joining Emeritus. There's a lot uh, more that they can they can have when they, ha when they, when they have an Emeritus policy. The find a provider tool. I'll go over that here in just a little bit. Great resource for them to use or you to use. Dental cost estimator, same thing. You can use it as well, uh, but it's a great member tool just because they can see what the cost might be if they go out of network or in network. 
dental health uh, report card. This just shows them um, really their dental health. It kind of scores them. We don't look at this. It has nothing to do with rates or anything like that. Um, it, it's just a good information for them to, to have and know, okay, well, I've, I've done all this in the past two years. Um, so it's just a great um, report that they can look at. We do have a prescription savings card, of course. I wear a savings card as well. Um, you can save additional dollars um, at like vision, vision centers, um, especially Walmart, um, to use that. Worldwide assistance actually had someone bring this up the other day. Um, one of their clients was um, out, of, out of the US. We do have some providers um, in Mexico, but I can't remember where they were. But they were out of the US and our team um, here at Emeritus helped them find a provider um, nearby and also help them with making the appointment because sometimes it's hard to, you know, get a referral or something when you're, when you're in, in a different country. So an Emeritus team helped them and, and got them an appointment. Agent tools. This is the website I was referring to with that uh, providing economic value piece that we went over. Great, great website. I mean, there's social media posts. I mean, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, great marketing pieces. Um, there's uh, client facing material. There's uh, webinars, there's podcasts. Um, there's everything you can pretty think, pretty much think of, of what you need to market a product and also, you know, what you need to, uh, help, the, help the client understand a product is right here. It's explored on emeritus.com. You can see the ho whole URL up top. But write this down. Again, it's a great, great um, tool reference for, for you as an agent to go on to and, and grab some information on. Uh, I, I see agents all the time use, use it for their social media posts. It's the same thing. You can use your personalized hyperlink. Put that thing on a, on a social media post and someone can go in there and enroll themselves. Uh, I'll go over that here just a little bit, but again, agent tools here here at Emeritus is is uh, really really good. We are um, working on a new agent back office. Um, I'm hoping it'll be done maybe October, um, maybe late October. A new back office, so real time information, all that kind of stuff will will be on there. So we all look out for that as well. But very uh, technology conscious here at Emeritus when it comes to, of course, enrollment and also tools as well. So when you do get contracted with us through Premier, what's gonna happen is you're gonna receive a personalized hyperlink. That personalized hyperlink is uniquely tied to you. So you enroll a client, use your hyperlink. Don't go to our main website, go to your hyperlink. Save it as a, as a favorite um, on your tools. Just, and, and every so often, make double check it's yours. I'll show you where to double check here in just a little bit, but that is how you quote and enroll business. So if you do have someone, if you're not contracted currently with us through Premier, get with them, it usually takes 48 hours. Uh, my contracting teams would, would um, not be happy with me if I said that, but they usually like to say three to five days. Uh, I've seen it way quicker than that. So if you're not contracted with us, get contracted with us so you can quote and enroll with your hyperlink uh, because again, that's how we track your business, that's how we track your commissions. And that hyperlink, that's how you send it off. You send it off to your, your, uh, your, your clients who you, you know you haven't talked about dental with or you can send it out via social media, send it out via email, whatever it is. There's a lot of ways that you can use this precise hyperlink. Quoting is very, very easy. We are zip code rated. Um, so there's not a lot of information you need with regards to starting that, that quoting process. Um, again, with zip code rating, it's great because if a client's 64 and they're turning 65, rates aren't gonna increase because of age, right? So it's zip code rated. A lot of them out there are age rated. So there's no increasing um, when, when they uh, reach a certain age. Once they do type in or you type in that zip code, what's gonna pop up is do you need dental coverage? Do you need vision coverage? And then how many, how many will be uh, covered with this policy? Both are standalone plans. So you can say no to dental and yes to vision or vice versa. So they're both standalone. You don't have to purchase them together. Uh, but again, just remember to bring up vision. I think a lot of times we we, we kind of uh, get ahead of ourselves when it comes to dental policies and, and forget um, to talk about vision. So what a member will see once they type in um, type in their zip code and then they'll type in if they want dental or vision and how many um, will be insured, they'll see all the plans. Um, unfortunately, because we haven't launched these new plans yet, you're looking at our old plans on here. 
But they'll, they're going to see all three of those plans that we were launching July 28th, access, total, value. They're going to see them just like, just like they, they, they're showing here. And it's going to be um, very easy for them to choose, okay, which plan suits me the best? They can use that view plan details. If they click on that or you click on that, it'll show all the details that I just went over. And then they'll just select plan and move to the next uh, slide, which is their information. And there's about 10 uh, fill in the blanks, you know, name, address, uh, date of birth, uh, and then credit card information, and then submit. It's very, very, very seamless. Um, so I don't even like to call it an e-app. It's pretty much your own, your own website uh, that clients go to. Find a provider tool that I discussed previously. You can type in city, county, state, zip code. I usually like to type in zip code because you can go, um, you know, 5, 10, 15 mile radius from that zip code. I mean, all the way up to 100 um, searching. Uh, and then additional filters such as uh, if you already know the provider that you want to go to, they can type in that information as well. Um, there's just a ton of additional filters as well. But once you do type in that zip code, what will pop up is all the in-network providers. There'll be some in green lettering, green lettering and some in black lettering. The ones in green lettering just mean it's a more cost-effective provider, meaning they gave um, a higher than average negotiated rate. Again, all the providers on here are in-network, ranging from 25 to 50% on negotiated rates. Rate. Each one of them are fantastic and network providers. But again, we just want to say thank you to those providers for, I'm going to say one more time, creating economic value, additional economic value for that client. If you do uh, send out your hyperlink to, you know, multiple clients, you know, it's called a thousand, um, you're going to get confirmation email when anyone enrolls through your hyperlink. So if you're sitting with a client, uh, if you're on a Zoom call, you're going to get notified, or if they enroll themselves, you're going to get notified via email when someone does enroll. That's just a great, you know, you'll kind of see some, somebody's just always like, oh, well, I wonder how good that email blast was. I wonder how many enrolled. Well, you're going to get notified once you, some, once you send that off to your clients, you'll get notified when someone does enroll. So what's in it for the agent? Um, I know John talked about a lot of this with regards to dental and vision. Of course, you have the ability to sell 12 months out of the year. Um, you're not limited, uh, limited to Medicare or if you're in the ACA space or whatever it is, you can sell 12 months out of the year. Referrals, leads. We've talked about that already. It's a great product um, to get referrals on, uh, to, to, to be able to save your client that much money day one with no waiting period. It goes a long way. You're going to get referrals. It's remaining relevant to being that one-stop shop. Right? We talked about product uh, uh, or client persistency, right? The more products you have with them, the better persistency you're going to have. And our goal here is to add as much value as possible. You've seen it with our products currently, and you're seeing it with our products that will be launched in July 28th. We want to add to your reputation. We want to add to your, your book of business. We want to continue to, um, to have you grow with the Emeritus products, with all products that you're offering. Um, so what, what I think that's something that that uh, we, we work hard for um, with our plans is to, to get you with those referrals, to add to your reputation. Uh, that plays a big part in our industry today. So I hope hopefully those three new products you're excited about. I'm super excited about them. I think we cover every person out there uh, when it comes to um, your client's portfolio with regards to under 65 or over 65 or a value plan. Again, all of our plans are 18 and older. All of them have preventive plus which means preventative services don't go towards the max benefit. We have two plans that have increasing maximums. We have a plan that has LASIK and teeth whitening, a plan that has hearing, all sorts of things. I think we cover every avenue. So again, I appreciate you jumping on here. Um, here's some information. Just again, reach out to Premier. I know John's going to go over all that information, who to reach out to, but reach out to Premier. Um, if you do have questions or, or want to get appointed, uh, they are your go-to agency. Um, John, I don't know if you want to get questions now or if you have any more things to say and then we can get to, to questions. I am actually pulling some questions now, if you don't mind. Um, oh, perfect. Can a member on a current Emeritus plan transfer to a new plan? They can. They, they would just start over. Um, they would start over from day one. Uh, really, with our plans, we, we try to make it as even as possible in year two meaning it's 180-50, right? We have one plan now that's 190-15 year two. 
you know, unless they want, you know, LASIK, hearing, teeth whitening, you know, I could see them wanting to switch plans, but primarily most of our clients stay on their current plan, uh, but they can, they just start over from day one. All right. Um, Tracy is asking, does this product work with other insurances like MAPD that offer DVH, but need additional maxes for the majors? I think you covered that briefly, but a review of that is very important. Absolutely. Yeah. We do not coordinate benefits. So we'll always pay as a primary. And that's, uh, that's one of the things that kind of sticks out, especially in that Medicare space is if, if, uh, you know, if they have a Medicare Advantage plan and, and they're switching, you know, yearly or whenever they are switching, the great thing about a standalone dental plan that doesn't coordinate benefits is that's always going to stay there, right? So you don't have to worry about, you know, a Medicare Advantage plan having dental or, or, you know, having the same dental that they had previously, you already have them covered. But if they do, we don't, have, we don't coordinate benefits. Okay. Uh, another question is about commission rates. We'll send some additional information directly to Tracy on that. Uh, Brian, I'm gonna, I've got a couple of things in the hopper to, to do with the plug-in on the previous uh, webinar. I'll check and see what's going on with your contracting at this time as well. Uh, Denise is asking, will the new products be the only products available as of July 28th? So are we sunsetting some of the old other programs? Yep, we're sunsetting um, the other products. Oh, I mean, they'll still be in like, uh, you'll see those gray states that we went over previously. Those are on our previous plan. They're not even on our current plan. Those will move over to PrimeStar Protect, but primarily most of, of the states will just have these three plans. Okay. And then Larry, we'll do the same thing with uh, you as we're doing with Tracy and get you some commission information as well. And I think that is it. One of them, a question is, do they have to do anything special for the personal URL program? No, not at all. That's that's just that's our enrollment process. Is that uh, personalized URL? So no, nothing, nothing there. And and our, yeah, that's it. So coordinating some of that information with some of the marketing material you talked about with social media, if someone does mm -hmm. uh, a newsletter or whatever, that that seems like a really powerful tool. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, even on that hyperlink, I see agents all the time. You know, put it on their um, Facebook and it. You know, they can just click on that link through Facebook and they can enroll through your hyperlink. So, yeah, many, many ways you can uh, advertise the products. Awesome. Uh, B-Dub and Linda, we're going to get you commission information as well. And I think that's what we've got at currently for questions. So I'm going to pull control back here and finish up with just a few more slides, another three to five minutes. Um, bear with us. There we go. So some of the things that we can do to help in this circumstance from here, our, our folks here at Premier Marketing, um, we have a program on our website that you can access, Assurance Bay, where you can create an agent profile, store all your information, including your ENO coverage, uh, answering some basic questions that you see on different contracts, that sort of thing. That can be plugged in here so you have a repository that you can contract with carriers directly. Uh, electronically through this system where they may not have that sort of uh, contracting process otherwise. Now with uh, Emeritus, we're going to make certain that you have a direct link from the carrier in order to get contracted. Uh, so it's a little bit different, but this is a great place for you to store your information, make certain you have everything in one, one spot. We do also offer discounted errors and admission coverage for uh, qualified agents. What's a qualified agent, John? Well, that is a person who has a contract with us. So that's basically there. Uh, this is a program that you own. Um, so it'll cover you for all products that it satisfies the requirements for E&O with the different insurance carriers. But it is something that it's not like adding you to a blanket E&O policy for one program and then you wonder how you're going to cover yourself for everything else. This is something you own and it'll take care of that requirement regardless of whom you're contracting through for whatever insurance product. We also help with uh, different discounted continuing education programs through our association with WebCE in order to keep your license in play. And you can add to your own benefit package through a modified guarantee issue program for disability income programs where you are paid a commission on that product on yourself. 
Watch this where today's presentation is being recorded. We've recorded past presentations. They are located on our website and on our YouTube channel. But this gives you an opportunity to go through and look at different carriers, different product types, different marketing ideas. Uh, all they're available for you 24-7. And I cannot stress enough the complimentary use that our contracted agents have with Medicare Center. This is a program that gives you an opportunity to access three quoting engines all through a single universal login, uh, gives you access to a CRM for your prospects and your clients. It also enables you to satisfy those compliance uh, requirements for, pardon me, I'm bouncing around here on you, uh, for uh, discussing Medicare health products compliantly. So collecting that scope of appointments, storing it for that 10 year period is there. And it has access to the quote engines that are powered by Connecture, Sunfire, and CSG. And that CSG program actually here uh, has the Emeritus information in it. And one of the things that you can do is when you go into a house, you can use this tool to help cross sell as well and bring up the topic very simply and uh, non confrontationally and can really add to your sales. We do also have a repository of the different incentives that are made available by the carriers, uh, the different uh, perhaps bonuses in a manner of speaking, that's not the proper term, but the dollars that are there and the trips that that may help you qualify for, including incentive programs with Premier, uh, which last year was gonna be a cruise and then it turned into cash in your pockets. Some of the things that we can do to help get you in front of people, well, you can cold call for dental programs and we see agents start to do that in many circumstances for the T65 market, but giving them a head start on it. So starting to call people at 63 and 64 gives you an opportunity to put the dental programs in place that as Taylor mentioned, seven to 10 are expecting to do so. Uh, two thirds of the people on Medicare don't have them. So you have that market that is there for you. And it also then gives you a way of farming in your own T65 folks for uh, Medicare product thereafter. We also have different programs set in place to help you become the center of influence in your community, your subject matter expert through explanations of programs and uh, tips and hints on how to get full value out of retail marketing programs, how to market with and through faith-based organizations and also other providers in the community that deliver on the benefits in which we are discussing. It is also a, a key point that many folks, when we speak of providers, we're not talking just doctors and specialists, we're talking dentists as well. Many of the dual programs out there now have specific programs that target the dentist as part of their marketing program. So if those big companies are spending money doing that, it's probably a pretty good idea for the rest of us to do it as well. And that might generate some carrier generated prospects, which many of the MA and PDP carriers will do for the folks that are working with them. We do offer internet leads and direct mail support and a cool referral program to help you farm one lead into multiple leads. The direct mail program is a discounted program based on production, but you can qualify two ways, two programs each month if you wanted to or could, and that is through production through the health programs and through final expense as well. There are preferred lead vendors in each category, and we do that in order to make certain that the information is compliant that you are utilizing. We do also offer programs for responses to direct mail. It's very nice to have your own program directed at a specific audience of your choice and, and controlling the mail programs as what we mentioned before. This, however, gives you an opportunity to pull in folks perhaps at a more budget friendly to start uh, type of arrangement and fill in uh, additional people to speak to in order to fill your calendar. Two different programs to do so. Uh, costs will vary according to area and time of year, that sort of thing, simply because of supply and demand, and we want to be upfront about that. We do also offer lead programs through Facebook programs that help you with final expense and Medicare there as well. And once again, taking a single lead and multiplying it into multiple leads simply by asking for help or asking for referrals, um, you'll get a link to a bit of a tip and hint and tip program that we have in that area for you as well. 
So all that said and done, this is an effort to make certain that we can accommodate our mutual needs, how we can help each other. And so let's see here. What questions did I miss? Is there a website plug-in? Uh, that is something that Taylor addressed with the uh, Perl, the microsite, and that works as the plug-in for you. There is a question here on, well, and Mich Michelle, that's basically, yeah, there we go, the hyperlink for it. Building for premiums, is it credit card or checking only? Uh, Taylor, could you handle that? Are you available? Yep, I'm here. Yeah, it's either it's either or credit card or EFT. That we don't have any. There's no billing. Um, so I just stick to EFT and credit card. Okay, no paper billing, thankfully. Yeah, we do. I mean, you do, but there is a cost on top of it, which I don't think we want to go down that path. But uh, I mean, it, you can. I can't remember what the cost is. I think it's like three or four dollars um, each time it's sent out. So you know, I don't know if that's. That's worth I, I it. So credit card or EFT. Yeah, I imagine persistency on that. It takes a little bit of a ding meat as well if you're doing Yeah, it. yeah. So cool. Well, there we go. I think we've handled the questions. Once again, we're asking for your business. We feel that Emeritus can be a key component of our overall marketing program. And it's one that you need to add to your personal marketing plan, not just for the upcoming AEP. There's so much talk about that already. It's also about what we need to do now. We need to accommodate the folks that we've visited with in the past, either sold or not, revisit them with dental coverage, um, and then make it a part of our marketing program moving forward. If you're going to do a campaign to 63 and a half, 64 year olds, as I mentioned before, either telephonically or by direct mail or however, it is something that we feel is it could be a very key component in your success. And we want to make certain that, much as John Wayne said in the Cowboys, slap a piece of bacon in that biscuit, saddle up, let's ride, because we're burning daylight. It's a program we can do now. And uh, we're asking you to consider to do that as well. You can reach us through our toll-free number at 1-800-365-8208. If you are working with a marketer currently, they're going to walk you through the intricacies of this program. And as Taylor said, it's simple. It's a great way, however, for you to, to put it in play. Those folks will help you in that regard. If you don't have a relationship with us, um, we'll make certain that you have a subject matter expert assigned to you. You can also, of course, respond to the direct mail we kick out, or pardon me, the email follow-up here that we send out and reach us through our website as well. I wanna thank you for the time that you invested with us here today. For those of you uh, with whom we have a relationship and we've done business, I thank you for that business as well. I also thank you for the folks that are considering doing business with us. Thank the other guys just a smidge more. Come on, let's do some business together. We appreciate it. Until we're able to speak again, I'm gonna wish you good selling. Thanks so very much. We'll talk soon. Thanks, Taylor.